Dude, Raining Blood is going to be the soundtrack for this, oh, yeah. I decided. I like to give everybody a last uh, race at the end of the season, but I also like to have a guy think, start projecting out a 10K on the track for next spring. So I figure if he can go at this point after only 8, 10 weeks of training for a freshman, we should be able to uh, make the improvement to continue on, on uh, for a full 10K by the spring. So that's kind of the goal is to give him a taste of kind of 10K pacing on the track and then get them thinking, oh, okay, I can break 31 this year as a freshman or, or whatever they happen to uh, uh, set themselves up. Hey, I would just be happy with guys running, you know, under 20 minutes. Uh, all these guys are walk-ons and uh, I'm pretty excited about them. So. Scott Olberding last year cracking the Olberding line, which is 20 minutes for this race. How many people do you expect today to break to break the Olberding line? I'm going six. Six guys. Six wow, guys. That's a big call. I could say that's six. A... I could see six. Okay. Doing it. Okay. Give me your names right now. I could. See, you could see um, Ringy for okay. sure. Yeah, Ring. Cliff for sure. You got um, who else is out there? Irish. 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 McDonald. McDonald. That's four right there. And then you got to go with the veteran. Um, Jordan Foster, Foster, breaking 20, okay. that's D easy. D-Will, now, now you're looking for a bubble guy, so you're thinking oh, maybe D-Will could break it, and now you're looking <laughs> maybe Snowflake. maybe Snowflake, <laughs> Cody Whistly. Wells. Whistley's been coming Whistly, on. Whistley, Whistley could break it, There's, that's an easy six. <laughs> All right, let's get, Geiger, who's gonna win this? Give me my boy Cliff all the way. That's <laughs> right, Cliff and Dan Campbell. Oh, Cliff and Dan Campbell. The Colorado connection. Nice job, fellas. Well, nice well, job. Two, 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 two. Way too fast. That's nice fast. job. No, they're good. They're fine. fine. Nice job. You guys are great. You guys are great. 81. 82. Nice job, fellas. Come on, guys. Good job. 85, guys. There you go. Well, uh, going into the regional, we, we take a lot of pride in uh, our performance over the, at the regional over the years. So this is the one date that's circled on the calendar in advance, a uh, date that we know we're going to run well at. And um, uh, this year, uh, obviously, the West region is the toughest region in the nation. Uh, we have uh, Stanford at number one, Oregon at number three, Portland at number seven. That's pretty exciting. And then we have uh, another five teams nationally ranked behind that. So. Um, you know, the ob object is to advance. It's kind of like the district meet or the prelims, and you're trying to uh, get through it uh, in one piece uh, with the focus on the next week. Now, obviously, we don't want to take uh, we don't want to take anything for granted, and we won't. We'll run hard. We'll run to uh, to uh, do as well as possible, and uh, always looking for guys to make that all region team. So. I don't think we're gonna see a 1907 freshman uh, record today. I don't think it's. Is that the record? Yeah, mm -hmm. Furker and John Moore shared. Oh.
Dynamite and Foster. Tell me what do you think? What do you think is gonna happen with Dynamite? Foster does have that uh, veteran intangible. Nice job, Austin. Nice job, Vega. 22, 28, Vega. Okay. One to go. 23, 10. 20. Okay. Nice job, Matt. I thought the winning time was over. Yeah, I know. Nice job. Nice job. The predictor of great things. I wish I got that on tape. <laughs> Dude, I like how he's supposed to ring you without it. Last year, Cosby won this thing. A little out of order. It's a four-mile time trial. It's a predictor of great things. <laughs> 